You may remember a while ago I posted a quick video showing how you can remote control any device running iOS 17 or later by simply sending it some cleverly crafted messages. Well, since then I've made a few improvements to this process, which I think makes it worth covering again. So let's dive in. The first thing that you need to know is that this is not a hack. You do need access to the target device in order to set this up. So the first thing you'll want to do is download the following shortcut on the target device from my website, homeiswherethesmartis.uk. Go to Get My Shortcuts, find Run Shortcut from Message, and tap Download. And that'll bring up a shortcut similar to this, where you can inspect the shortcut if you want, and add the shortcut to your library. If at this point you've never downloaded a shortcut before, you may have trouble saving one, so you might need to then go to Settings, scroll down to Shortcuts, Bearing in mind I'm using a device running iOS 18 at the moment, so this might look a little bit different to you. And enable private sharing toggle here. And then you should be able to download the shortcut. Be sure to try and add the shortcut first because sometimes this setting does not even appear until you've tried to download a shortcut. So once you have the shortcut downloaded and saved to your device, all you need to do is go into the automations tab, tap the plus button, scroll down to message, for the sender, type in your own contact record here and select that. Then put message contains shortcut colon. And then select run immediately. Now on this screen you simply find the shortcut that we downloaded earlier and select it. That's all done. At this point you can send the device a message and it will work but you probably want to add some shortcuts on the target device to be able to do things which are useful to you. To create a shortcut, go back over to this tab, tap the plus button. Up here you can rename the shortcut. It's important that you know what the shortcut's name is for later. In this case, I'm going to create one that says lock my phone. And then I'm going to use the lock device action lock screen and tap done. Now if I send a message to my phone here and in the message I'm going to put shortcut colon lock my phone. That message will come through, the shortcut will run and my phone is locked. One of the big improvements I've made to this shortcut is that it can now be passed input. What this means is that you can put another colon in your message and tack stuff on the end for the shortcut to use. Let me show you. I have a shortcut here called speak. This shortcut takes its input and speaks it in a speak action using the Siri voice that I have selected. So now what I can do is I can send a message that says shortcut colon speak and another colon come down for dinner. Come down for dinner. As you can see here, I sent a message saying shortcut colon speak, so it runs the shortcut, name speak, and it passes come down for dinner as input to that shortcut to be, then be read out. This is particularly useful if you have children who might be playing up in their bedroom on their iPads. You can create a shortcut like this, perhaps add a pause action first for any music or YouTube videos, etc. that might be playing. And then you could set a volume so that make sure that they can hear it and then speak the shortcut input to send them a message, like an intercom, but without having to also have a HomePod. Now for one final thing that you can do to make this whole process even easier, on your device, you can create a shortcut again. And on this device, I'm just gonna call it lock my other phone. And we're gonna add a message in here. send a message and we're going to put the message that we've been using in here. This wants to include the name of the shortcut on the target device. And for the recipients, I'm just going to select myself. So now when I run this shortcut here, it's going to send the message that we need to send to the other device in order to lock my phone. Now the great thing about this is you can ask Siri, lock my other phone, and it will run this shortcut 
and send a message to your other phone to lock it. But there's several other ways you can run this shortcut. You can simply tap it here. You can add it to your home screen. So this will put an icon on your lock screen to allow you to run the shortcut. You can put it in a widget like this. And that will lock your phone. Basically, there's loads of different ways to run a shortcut that are really handy. You can even put it here as well on your very lock screen to run it immediately. If you like this trick and you have any good use cases for it, do let me know down in the comments. I'll be really interested to see your creative ideas. And until the next one, remember, home is where the smart is.